Welcome, friends. We're glad you've chosen to join us this day as we are studying from a prophet of the Old Testament, Daniel by name. He was an exile from his early youth until the time of his old age. Daniel was one that received dreams and interpreted dreams. The first half of the book tells of Daniel's interpreting dreams, and the second half of the book tells of his receiving dreams, and those dreams being ones that were interpreted for him by an angel. That section begins in chapter 7. And in chapter 7, we see Daniel as he looks at the boiling waters of the great sea. And out of those waters begin to emerge a series of four beasts. There is first the beast that emerges that looks like a lion. It has wings on its back. And then, as Daniel sees, these wings are cut off. And the lion, the beast, is made to stand up on his two feet. It's given a, a mouth and a, a heart like a man. And then Daniel sees another beast. This beast comes out of the water, and it's like a bear. It is one that stands up on one side. It has three ribs in its mouth. And the voice is heard speaking and saying, Arise! Eat much flesh. Daniel looks again, and another beast emerges. And this beast is that that's like a leopard. It has four wings on its back. It is one that has four heads. And then, once more, Daniel looks. But the beast he looks at this time is not identifiable with any known creature as far as the earth is concerned. It's called a diverse beast. And this diverse beast is one that has great iron teeth. It is one that is one that has ten horns. It is that that has much power. And uh, as we look at the dream that Daniel dreams, we find that there is one that comes and thrones are set, uh, and one that is like unto an ancient of days, and he comes, and uh, he sits on that throne, and judgment is given, and then as we look, clouds of heaven are those that swirl around, and one like unto a son of man comes in the clouds of heaven to the one that's the ancient of days, and that's given to him dominion and glory and kingdom and a power, and uh, it will never be that that will pass away. This is a perplexing dream, and yet it is akin to a dream that was first dreamed by Nebuchadnezzar, and that dream is in the second chapter. In the second chapter of the book, Nebuchadnezzar saw a vision of a, an image, a great image. It was made of metal, however, four different metals, and those images, were, or that image was that that was this struck down by a stone cut out of a mountain without hands. It began to grow and grow and became a great mountain and filled all the earth. As we look at these dreams, diverse as they are, yet uh, they have a common denominator. Uh, for there were four beasts in Daniel's dream, there were four metals in the image that Nebuchadnezzar saw. And these four metals and these four beasts are kin. They are one. The metal that first was seen in Nebuchadnezzar's dream was of gold. Its head was of gold. And the first beast that Daniel saw was like a lion that came out of the water. These two are one, and they are one that are speaking of the Babylonian kingdom that was in power when Daniel interpreted this dream for Nebuchadnezzar. The second metal that Nebuchadnezzar's image was made of was silver, breast and arms of silver. And as we look at the second beast that came out of that boiling waters of the great sea, it was like a bear. And the bear and the silver are one. They are the Medo-Persian kingdom that would arise after Babylon was defeated by them.
And then as we look at the Nebuch- dream of Nebuchadnezzar once more, we see another metal, and this time it's bronze. And it, the belly and the thighs were of this nature of brass. And when we look at the animals that Daniel saw in his dream, he saw a beast that was one that was like a panther, like a leper. And this leper was that that was fierce and fast. And these two are one. And then once more we look and we see that the final beast that came was the diverse beast as Daniel interpreted him. And the last metal was that that was a metal that was of iron, its legs and iron of clay, of the the image that Nebuchadnezzar saw of iron, and the legs of iron. And that diverse beast also are one. And as we consider these things, we must likewise think about the fact that there is another prophet that is spoken of the same kingdoms, and that was the prophet John. In the book of Revelation, John spoke of these four kingdoms, of these four metals, of these four beasts, except as we look at Daniel A. stands by the rivers and by the waters, we find in Revelation 13 that John also sees the boiling waters of the sea and the beast emerging. But John doesn't see four beasts. He sees one beast. And this beast is described as the fourth beast of Daniel's dream. It's diverse not like any creature on earth. And yet, as we look at that beast, we see that it has features like other animals. It is that, that is one that's like a leper. It is one that is like a bear. And it's one that is one that has the mouth of a lion. And so all four of these kingdoms are represented in this that John sees, except that these kingdoms, for though thus they were, represented kingdoms to be. In Daniel's day were kingdoms that had been in John's day. Nevertheless, the last kingdom, the kingdom of iron, the kingdom that was represented by this diverse beast, was the Roman kingdom, and it was in full sway in John's day. But though the other kingdoms were gone, the spirit that activated those kingdoms, moved and projected those kingdoms, were those that were still very much alive in this diverse beast of John. In our next study, we're going to look at what happens to this beast, and what happens and why these things happened. And we encourage you to be listening and study with us next week as we continue our study of this, the noble prophet of the exile, Daniel. And now we wish you a very pleasant day. May God bless you, yours, and may God be with you.